Coach Sheeran over here a little while ago. Do you guys have like a guest speaker or something or give out some scholarships? Or uh, no, we just have a lot of the families here. Oh, okay. See lots of practice and stuff like All that. Right. How's, uh, these are kind of like the dog days of camp now. How's, uh, how's it treating you? How are you holding up? Uh, this year, I'm just taking care of my body a lot better. Like suppose, suppose the last year I got hurt early, so really like coming like coming around this time, I'm just making sure my body's good. Did that off season conditioning program help you guys? Oh, for sure. They had us they had us running a lot, so I feel like it most definitely prepared us. Uh, how much bigger of a role do you see yourself taking with this secondary this year? Um, really, I hope to play a lot this year. That's up to the coaches right now. I can just control what I can control. Uh, just keep uh, grinding out here and. Uh, showing up every day ready to go. How much how much improvement do you feel like you've made since last year? Uh, a lot of improvement, uh, communication, just knowing I'm more comfortable with the defense. Uh, it's another year in my belt, so I know what to expect as far as like what the offense is doing and what I'm supposed to be doing on defense, so a lot of improvement. Did you uh, focus on anything in particular during the summer to get ready for uh, camp? Uh, just speed, strength, uh, being fluid in my movements, getting out of my breaks quicker, all the things that come with being a DB. You guys are going to be tested right out of the gate. Coach Carolina's got a heck of a quarterback, three top receivers coming back. Have you looked at them at all and what they do, or is that uh, closer to game week? Uh, as we get closer, to more, that's when we get to dive into the, their, uh, what they like to do in the depth chart and the players and stuff like that, but not too much right now. Without going into too much of the uh, defense, you know, what are some of the changes that you see that uh, Coach uh, Lynn is bringing? There's a lot of NFL-style coverages, uh, being aggressive. And uh, it's just different because it's a lot of the pro style plays and stuff like that. And how is it working, you know, uh, learning under him? You know, what is his uh, teaching technique like? Oh, it's great, uh, especially coming from a player that plays your position so he knows what it's like. Mm -hmm. And he coming from the NFL, that's the highest uh, league. So it's kind of like, kind of like surreal sometimes because you're getting the coaching from the league. That's where everyone wants to go. So. You guys brace for the uh, practice in the rain tomorrow? Uh, yeah, I haven't really heard too much about it. Okay. I've just been seeing a little bit, but. So it's whatever. Um, you were around last year. How big of a void is it going to be to fill for you know for Mo and Bill out there? But you know they're gone. Uh, for you and the rest of this unit to kind of fill a void that they left. Uh, yeah, you got to step up as far as leadership. Um, they brought a, that was a big piece that they brought to the team being a leader and uh, showing how to work every in, day in and day out. So that's going you got to step up and bring that to the table. You were obviously someone who got on the field. You know couple of games last year as a young guy uh, Chip brought up how you know Ty Lee as a linebacker might get on the field what is uh, early playing time what does that maybe do for your confidence uh, uh, boost your confidence a lot because you get to see the speed of the game and then as far as like what to do and how to communicate with the crowd and all that like that plays a big factor so really just it boosts your confidence a lot because you know what to expect do you have any uh, goals you know and like any numbers uh, that, that you maybe post up in your room and say that's that's something I want to achieve this year uh, no, really right now, just get on the field as much as possible. Just curious if you've been in touch with Coach Ellinghouse, if you saw your alma mater last night being Jay Sarah, you keep tabs on those guys? Uh, I, I haven't talked to him, but I did watch the game. Um, it was a battle. It was 9-7, like I think? Yeah, 9-7. Yeah. So, yeah, that was crazy. I was Christian next week. Should be a big one. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to get him. <laughs> a lot of the players are saying that you guys are pretty much here all day, all day long, and, you know, it's, that's a lot of football, but what do you do in your own time? You like to, to, to chill out, to, uh, you know, should really watch film uh some really sleep too like right now like everything is football 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 so when you like done with this is either you watching film or you're going to sleep one of the two thank you thank